All right. So I woke up with a little bit of a sore back right there, the Zatica kind of feeling that I'm sure a lot of you older golfers have experienced. And I'm not like an expert in this, but from my experience, I switched over at one point to doing sort of more of a Mo Norman style swing, um, where keep your back foot on the ground. Now, I'll show you the basics of this, even though I'm not the expert. So Todd Graves is probably the expert on the Mo Norman swing, and you could find him online. But here we go. So the basic maneuver is, so what puts strain on the back is that sort of rotation where you do a torque at the end of your body and strain, and put a lot of strain on the lower back. And you can feel it if your back hurts. You see people when their backs have become bad is to finish like this because they're avoiding that move but then their swing doesn't make sense anymore because they have no break so what you want to do is find a different way to break basically so what Mo Norman's braking system was keep the inside of this foot on the ground and you just for me it's a feeling of take this hip and push it toward this knee and when that runs out, you stop your, your body and the club releases. So it's pretty simple. And that's the move, it's just boom, with your hip and then the club follows. And then at the end of that, you just kind of instinctively want to stand there, which is where you got that odd looking um, finish. So I'll show you with the club now. So, got a six iron here. So, but I really, at first you really have to force yourself to keep this foot down. Then it doesn't feel weird after a while, but you figure it out. We'll go up, down, release, just like he described. Vertical drop, horizontal tug. So you notice the vertical drop is not just this, vertical drop is this. All this happening. And then pull the club through, he said. So we try one here. And you can see when you get to the end, it's just natural to stand up and sort of point the club. I'm not sure why, but it's um, just feels like that's what you want to do. I don't know why. Uh, I think it's because you would never just stay like this. <laughs> so you get all the way through the ball and then you want to go like that. And for some reason when you're doing that, it seems a little bit natural to do that. But um, so that's it. Toss it right back. So and you want to feel like where you're going back is where your hands arrive at is a place where you're pointing right at the ball with this whole mechanism. So you just go right back to that spot. Go to it. Go through it. Do another one. And again, if I think I, I was doing the swing that I've been doing, I would be feeling some strain in my back right now. But this doesn't have a, a twisting on the lower back like a, like a this move does. So. Um, anyway, if you haven't, I, I did, I thought about this because also I ran into a friend whose back is bad, um, and I was like, well, you should try this, and I thought, well, that's an interesting topic. So for anybody that's having trouble in their back, try that, or at least try, get rid of, replace this, replace this last move with something where you just find a way to break without doing that twisting back killer move, especially once your back gets bad, you've got to find something else to do.